Welcome to the Dorkin Camera Club uh, tutorial on this one. It's how to resize and add a key line used in the Affinity Suite, Affinity Photo Suite um, uh, in Windows. To resize um, our images for a PDI competition for the Dorkin Camera Club, they need to be um, either 1400 pixels um, on the long side uh, or 1050 on the vertical side. Don't have to be 14 by 1050, only one of those sizes applies depending on the orientation of your image. In Affinity we go to the Documents tab and click on Resize Documents. Here in this window, the long edge is 3360 and the shorter edge is 1632. It's the longer edge we will then apply 1400 pixels to and resize. And you will see that it is now 1400 by 680 pixels automatically readjusts the height. And that is the new size that you now require for uh, a PDI image. If you have a vertical image, then it is the vertical side that you need to change. The vertical on this one is 3449 by 3144 across. Now it's very similar. Um, it's not quite a square, but we want to keep it to the height ratio. So again, we go into resize document and we click on the highest, uh, largest size, uh, which is the height and change that to 1050 pixels, which is the maximum pixels for the image that we want. And you see it's automatically resized the width to 957, but the height is the recommended uh, requirement we need at 1050 pixels. After that, you save your image in the normal manner, save as a JPEG. I forgot Infinity, uh, unfortunately, you have to export them as a JPEG uh, rather than save. So we export that uh, as a JPEG, 958 by 1050, best quality JPEG, quality, quality 100%. And, um, and then export. Okay, um, key lines. To add a key line in uh, Affinity, very simple. You click on the layer that you want to put the key line around. You then come down to the FX layer effects logo here and click on that which will open a layer effects menu. Click on outline ticket and you'll get some options here. Blend mode is normal, the opacity is 100% at the moment, the radius is the one we're interested in and we do not want to put a key line around more than two pixels. It's just enough to highlight the image and to set it off against the background that uh, it's going to be projected on. The alignment, however, has to be on the inside, and then we can choose the color that we want. Um, in Photoshop, you can choose it from the image, but in Affinity, um, you have to choose a color from the color palette that you have here something that will complement the image and you can adjust it accordingly with the sliders here on the RGB slider scale. Um, it has a fair amount of autumnal colors in the uh, foreground and therefore something in the pale yellow spectrum will probably be suitable. And if you're happy with that, you just close and there you have your key line ready to be saved again. Now that key line has not affected the size, it's still 1400 by 680. 
just one more would we'll do on this one. Again, FX outline 100% opacity. Two pixels on the inside. Choose the color. Add a bluish tinge to this. I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit. I'll go for a sort of a magenta color. Um, and you may even think to yourself, oh, I want something a bit larger than two. We'll go for four. Um, OK, that's your decision if you want to do that. However, if you feel that it's too bright and it's taken something away from the image, this is what you need to do. You need to bring down the opacity, bring it down and down and down until you still have the key line, but it is not competing with your image as it was earlier. So bring it way down to around 15, 20%. And that is far more acceptable than um, a bright key line, which judges will maybe comment on um, if they so wish. Hope you found that of interest. Any questions, please contact anybody at the Dorking Camera Club or visit dorkingcameraclub.co.uk. Many thanks.